Hi, hello, and young Raymida, Pangasinida. Welcome back to my channel, and if you are new, welcome, welcome. My name is Ray, and if you don't know who I am, that is okay because you can find out more about me here on all social media platforms. My skin type is oily, sensitive, reactive, dehydrated, and sometimes, depending on the season, it can also be combination. In this video, we are exploring the rising star K beauty brand Anua. This is a K-beauty brand that first gained global popularity when EXO's Suo briefly mentioned this brand in one of his Instagram lives. Since then, the brand blew up and Suo even got an endorsement deal with Anua. Anua's brand thesis is keep things simple, but I'm not too sure I believe that 100%. For me, one of the things I see as keeping things simple is not having fragrance in skincare products. But I noticed some of their skincare products do contain fragrance, and I'll get into that later. So stay tuned and don't change the channel. On this channel, I review Asian skincare products so that you can shop with confidence. Today's video is partially made possible by Style Korean. Everything I say in this video comes from my personal experience. If you have any serious skin concerns, please consult your trusted dermatologist or esthetician. With that being said, let's go! Among today's products, we have two exfoliating products. One is a physical exfoliator and the other is of course a chemical exfoliator. Let's start with the physical exfoliator, the 77% Heartleaf Clear Pad. This opaque green tub of toner pads comes with 70 sheets. Honestly, I think they should have gone with 77 sheets so that everything is 77 across the board. The pad itself is actually one of the smaller ones I've seen in the markets lately. Over the last couple of years, I want to say within the last two, three years, there was a movement in the industry to start pushing out large size toner pads and cotton sheets because the manufacturers and companies realize that a lot of people like using these little toner pads as DIY sheet masks. But with this toner pad, I feel like it would be a waste if you try to use these toner pads as a DIY sheet mask because I feel like you would need a lot of them. I'm not saying this because I have a big face. These cotton pads are objectively really small. I do recommend shaking the container a little bit before taking out out the toner pad because by shaking the tub you are helping the pads soak up a little bit more of the toner and in doing so you are incorporating the toner with the pad without shaking the container the toner pads in this tub is gonna feel very dry and rough on your skin with that said I do want to warn you be careful when you are traveling with this toner pad because this container is not leak proof when I open the seal of the tub and place the closed tub back in the cardboard box the toner owner leaked out of the tub and onto the cardboard. For me, it was a short distance trip, so the toner did not damage anything in my bag by the time I noticed that the tub was leaking. I do, however, love the two-sided texture of this cotton pad. One side has a rough texture and the other side has a plain cotton texture. But of course, this is nothing new in K-Beauty, but it's definitely something I prefer having when it comes to toner pads. Earlier, I called this a physical exfoliator. And this is only because of the act of brushing your face with a toner Pad. None of the ingredients, however, stood out to me as exfoliating. Ingredients-wise, a lot of them have to do with reducing skin inflammation and lowering the chances of acne. Overall, I did not find this toner pad to be groundbreaking or exciting. In terms of pricing, this toner pad would cost you about $25. And I can honestly say that Abib's toner pads, literally any of their toner pads, are a lot more hydrating and I feel like they are more cost-effective. I will be rating this toner pad a B. I feel like its packaging is kind of like the key selling point because you do get a picker or like what's it called a tweezer that is mounted on the inside of the lid although I feel like it is a little bit faulty because sometimes the picker just falls right off and into the tub but it is very convenient in terms of how they designed the picker and how it's incorporated in the whole experience but again the other downside to the packaging is that it is not leak proof so you have to be careful when you are storing this in your bag or traveling with it I do like this toner pad I feel like it was a pleasant experience using it but I I feel like because there are so many toner pads and I'm talking like in K-Beauty, every single K-Beauty brand out there is launching toner pads and I feel like this one just isn't up there with the rest of them. In other words, I feel like you have so many more options in K-Beauty when it comes to toner pads. This one just kind of 
misses the mark. Moving on to the next product, and it is the product that EXO's Suho recommended. Suho Hyung, thank you for this recommendation. It's always so nice to know exactly what K-pop idols are using that is not part of their endorsement deals. And in this case, of course, this is before Suho even got the endorsement deal with Anua. When K-pop idols share what they use on a daily basis, you know that it works for them because they need products to work for them. And of course, yes, K-pop idols have surgeries, they have treatments, that are not as accessible to the mundane people. In terms of maintaining their skin, which falls on skincare products, I feel like it is definitely worth trusting K-pop idols when it comes to skincare products. Suho Hyung actually spoke the truth. This Heartleaf 77% soothing toner is Suho good because Suho recommended it. That was a straight up dad joke. What's appealing about this toner is that it is actually a chemical exfoliator. But because it is such a soothing and high hydrating toner, you do not notice any stripping or harshness of the exfoliation. The key exfoliator that I notice in this formulation is apple fruit extract. And I've seen this ingredient being used in the past, especially in Skin Foods Blue Essence. Apple extract is an effective and gentle exfoliator that I personally really like because it produces malic acid, which is an AHA-BHA crossover. Malic acid helps break down the bonds of dead skin cells and and smooth out the skin texture. After about two weeks of using this toner without cotton pads or any kind of scrubs, I noticed my skin texture becoming more even. When I apply my moisturizer or sunscreen, I do not feel those little rough bumps on my skin anymore. Overall, I am very pleased with this toner. It is getting an A+. There's no fragrance, just a very calming, soothing, hydrating, simple, simple experience. I can see why Suho likes this. I am definitely getting another bottle of this. In fact, I actually placed an order on Style Korean because there was a sale going on. This product is not part of the Heartleaf line. It is actually fairly new, but I want to talk about this product very briefly since we are talking about Anua today. To be completely honest and very transparent, I did not try this product for a very long time compared to the Heartleaf line. But so far, I am enjoying this Peach 70% Niacin Serum. This is a highly concentrated serum with peach extract as the first ingredient on the list. Ultimately, this is a serum designed to repair the skin from hyperpigmentation. And these ingredients are the key factors to reducing hyperpigmentation and sunspots. Niacinamide, alpha arbutin, and ethyl ascorbic acid. Of course, like I said earlier, I did not get to test out this serum long enough to notice any difference in my hyperpigmentation. All I can say now is that it is very calming, very hydrating, and it has a very runny texture. This serum comes in a glass bottle and a pipette. It does contain fragrance, but it's not very strong. The scent is very similar to peach tea. For those of you who have a severe allergy to peaches or just sensitive skin in general, please, please, please be careful. Because the peach extract is so potent in the serum, it may cause irritations or worse. Hopefully you have seen the Korean film Parasite and have witnessed the deadly effects of peaches. I personally have a peach allergy, I have apple allergy, I have all sorts of allergies, but for whatever reason, I'm okay with using this serum, so I was like, thank god I passed the test. But of course, there are people out there who actually cannot even be near peaches, so definitely be careful if you are one of those people. For now, I am not going to rate this product since I only tested it out for one week. But I will keep you guys posted on my experience when using this product over on YouTube Shorts or Instagram or TikTok. Lastly, we have the Heartleaf 70% Intense Calming Cream. This is a very nourishing and thick moisturizer, so a little goes a long way. I actually find it funny that they named this product the Intense Calming Cream because the word intense is definitely not calming. In fact, I feel like those two words are polar opposites, and you usually don't see these two words in the same sentence or phrase. But can you imagine? Intensely calming. 
I would consider this moisturizer to be a very simple moisturizer. It locks in the moisture and hydration very well. And the best part about this moisturizer is that it leaves your skin with a very semi-matte and non-sticky finish. I do not think that this moisturizer is meant for oily skin types, but I actually really liked it. And of course, mature or dehydrated skin types would definitely enjoy this moisturizer a lot. I was a bit disappointed when I noticed my skin starting to break out around my nose area over here after using this moisturizer. I think it could be the vegetable oil in this formula that caused my skin to have a minor breakout. It could also be that I used a huge scoop of this moisturizer when I first tried it. And I actually did not notice any more breakouts when I switched to a smaller amount of this moisturizer. So I guess in conclusion, it's still a very workable moisturizer. If you have an oily skin type and you are more acne prone, use a very small amount of this moisturizer. Like I said, a little goes a long way. But if you are dry or dehydrated and you feel like your skin has never been acne prone, go ahead and use a very normal amount, the same amount you usually use for other moisturizers. Moving on to the package, I feel like it's very high-end, it's very bougie, doesn't need to be this high-end looking. I feel like, no, it doesn't have to be. I actually don't care too much about moisturizer's packaging as long as it's in a tube, it's hygienic, and it's not fussy. I believe this thick casing is actually made of acrylic and glass compound. I love that it comes with a spatula and a mount on the inner lid for your spatula. Anua also has a regular version of this moisturizer without the intensity and that one actually comes in a tube so I want to try that moisturizer out next time because I feel like it's better for my oily skin and I do want to compare what the major differences are between these two moisturizers overall this cream is getting an A minus no fragrance and the experience itself is very good I feel like this is one of those moisturizers that have one of the best textures in this world it's slightly buttery in the jar but but once it goes on your skin, it's velvety, it is very smooth, and it goes into your skin very quickly. Because of the nature of such a thick cream, not many people, at least I think, would find this moisturizer to be helpful. Some people might notice the same acne breakout that I did, and some people might not. And for those of you who are looking for a very nourishing and sealing moisturizer, and you are not prone to acne, give this one a try. That is all for this video. I finally got to try Anua's products. I keep hearing other influencers talk about this brand, and I can honestly say that I was not disappointed. I definitely recommend this toner that Suho also recommends, and I would say this moisturizer isn't bad. I feel like if I use small amounts of this, I can definitely see myself really loving this product. The peach serum is definitely growing on me. I feel like this is the only time where I'm like, the fragrance is not too bad. I actually enjoy the fragrance. Plus the packaging is just so beautiful. It is so aesthetic. You already know how much I love aesthetics in skincare. And I'm going to keep using this product and testing it out. And I'll share my results with you either again on YouTube shorts or Instagram reels or TikTok. Thank you Style Korean for sending over these products for me to try. Kamsamnida. I will leave all the product links in the down bar below for you guys to check out in case you guys are interested. Please help the channel grow by subscribing and sharing this video with your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. But until then, be safe, stay hydrated, and most importantly, be gentle with yourself. I mean it. Annyeong, come back for more. Chu say yo, chu say yo, chu say yo, chu say yo, chu say yo.